Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead and this is my dad Hi. and um, today we are gonna be in the workshop again and uh, my dad is gonna demonstrate one of his machines here actually he is the one who still owns the workshop and the homestead um, we rent some land from him, my wife and I but um, he is the boss here and he's gonna show us one of his machines Okay guys, so this is the machine we want to show you and this is a planer molder that can um, plane or mold all four sides of a piece of wood at the same time. You can see that already here where you control the machine, um, bottom cutter, right side, left side, the top and this is the um, mechanism that drives it through. I, I don't have the right term right now. So, so one thing I want to say, you know, English is not my first language. Um, even though I'm, I speak it fairly well, if I don't know some terms, you know, hang with me there. So this is a Logosol PH260, and it is a very nice machine for planing all your wood. That you have milled on your sawmill before and um, we're going to demonstrate to you how to adjust and set the the blades or the cutters i think they're called and i'm going to give you some facts and then we're going to show you how we use this machine okay so what we're going to do now we're going to open this up and adjust the cutters and we're going to plane um, some boards for flooring they're going to be 28 millimeters thick um, this is from lumber that my dad has milled for a customer with his wood miser band saw mill about two years ago and he planed a bunch of this for him and now he's short a few boards but it's so easy to just adjust this machine very quickly and, and uh, plane and mold a few more um, so we're gonna do this today yeah here my dad just handed this to me this is this is how it looks so here you put this in so it it takes away some tension from the wood so it's, it's this is pi um, pine that my dad milled how thick was it when you milled it uh, 33 millimeters so he milled it 33 millimeters and then it dried and it got a little thinner and now when it's all done plain and molded it's 28 millimeters thick another quick detail is you see here these uh, tubes or hoses whatever you call them they go right into the ceiling um, they go through the ceiling and then they go out of the workshop um, we have a fan standing right above there that sucks out all the wood shavings and the dust um, and we don't have to stand and breathe all of that okay these are the cutters you see this is gonna take out the female side that's the male side now this will be the three uh, lines on the bottom that we saw underneath um, and the two sides. So my dad is right now putting on the cutter. And then he's going to do that for all the sides and um, they go right on here. That's where they will go on. These here, this is what drives the whole piece of wood through the machine. So there are two on each. So the first thing my dad is going to do is he's going to adjust the height. That's going to be the left side. And so the cutters he's taking out right now that were in there before. They were for two by 
um, and then you choose the width um, 2 by 4 here you can see this is um, Tvotum in English uh, 45 millimeters or 2 inch they're actually the Swedish 2 inch is a little thicker than the American 2 inch when it's planed and done so yeah here here you can see some of the blades or cutters that my dad has bought over the years and they have really been worth their money we've done a lot with them and um, you can really do all kinds of shapes with this machine So the thing that you have to think about now is that you get the right height on the left and on the right side so it actually goes into each other later with the flooring. And um, and that is what my dad is checking right now. It's this one that determined the height of the cutter. You put it under and um, it was a, uh, the wrong one. So my dad is gonna switch this, this out with a thinner one. You see right there on the wall he has lots of different thicknesses, a millimeter, half a millimeter, and all of that. So he's um, 10 millimeters even, and 20 millimeters, and he's gonna um, take a different one now and put that under. So my dad is a very tough guy and just for the sake of the video he actually cut himself on the cutter so he could demonstrate what not to do, right? <laughs> just had to give him a band-aid. Goodness, don't do that, be careful. Okay, so you can see this is the right cutter, this is the left one. And this is the top one, that's where my dad cut himself on. Um, down here, right under there, that is the bottom one. So now, in the bottom cutter, you remember we have to put those um, three, three lines in there. Make this, and, and you know, you don't... We will not uh, drive it over the table saw <laughs> like some of you might think. No, this, this planer molder does um, all four sides at once. This is a bad um, bow, um, piece of wood here now that has a bow in it. But um, these three sides. So what are you going to do? You're going to put these little holders into this bottom cutter. And they will hold, um, they will hold the, the blades to to make these um, yeah these gaps in here so one one thing I my dad asked me to share with you you see this this board is crooked and and I mean you get that a bunch when you have this kind of width but some people think oh wow it planes and molds all four sides so I can put in a crooked piece of wood in this and it'll come out straight but that's not what this machine does um, this gives you a really nice finish on the wood and does all the moldings and stuff but you have to put straight wood in um, to, to, to get straight wood out. Yeah, so what I mean is not, uh, not that you have, you know, a little cricket sideways and stuff like that or, or that the bandsaw milled a little bit up and down or something but you need it lengthwise. Lengthwise you need the wood to be straight. So down there you can see now how um, those blades are fixed there. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bigger shot of our messy workshop right now that so many of you guys have been wanting to see um, as my dad is working there. Um, over there you see the bandsaw I've been working on, that's the jointer planer. Um, here you have the table saw, it's still quite messy. but. Um, I'll give you a tour of it at a different time. So while my dad is working, 
I will be able to show you something else. This is the actual drive, I believe it's called. And um, here you can adjust the speed. I'm not allowed to turn this right now as I'm just allowed to do this when it's running. You can go from quite slow. Um, that do you know the maximum speed? 12 meters per minute. 12 meters per minute is the fastest you can play with this. And you can play 410 millimeters wide on this machine and you cannot play that fast. You will have to go the slowest you can when you play these. So we have played, um, we have played two by 10 before on this and it goes quite heavy when it has to take off a lot of wood. So um, this is the drive. It's, uh, these are the ones that turn, you see this? And that push, push the wood through here. So 410 millimeters is the maximum width you can plane, but not all four sides at the same time. If you plane all four sides at the same time, you have 260 millimeters times 100 millimeters is the maximum. And I mean, that is pretty much bigger than the standard dimensions. You know, you have a um, four by 10 inches included there. So that's perfectly fine for most things. This is something he has planed all four sides at once. This is Aspen and this will actually go in a sauna. You can build the benches in the sauna for this because Aspen will not get as hot when you sit down in this very hot room in this hot sauna and um, my dad has built a sauna before and sold those benches. We have to adjust the width here and my dad needed one millimeter in one whole turn is four millimeters I just did a quarter so now it's exact okay now yeah now we have to check if all the cutters are spinning freely that they are not going against anything here um, bottom one or that is the top one actually the bottom one Nothing is hitting any metal, that would be very sad. Spinning freely. So you're happy with it? Uh, no. No, he's not happy with it. We must... Oh yeah. Let, I'll, I'll explain it for them. 